Hello, I am Dr. Fred Kennedy. I'm the director of the Tactical Technology Office at DARPA. And what I'd like to do here is talk to you just a little bit about what TTO does, why we do it, what's important to us, and uh, where we're trying to take both the Department of Defense and the nation. TTO is essentially attempting to disrupt modern warfare, whatever the domain. But what does that actually mean? Disruption, really at its heart, is about changing the way we do business at, a mo at its most fundamental level, at the architectural and enterprise levels. Disruption is saying the way we do that today, those ships, those planes, those ground vehicles, the way those troops are arrayed, we're looking at a different way, a completely different way. We're not going to go into combat the way we did before. We're going to disrupt the enterprise. We're going to change how the enterprise operates. We want to look off to the side. We want to look orthogonally and say, could I have built it a different way? Can I do that now? Do I need this suite of systems? Or could I push those aside in favor of a new and better way of doing business? And now what I'd like to do is uh, introduce you to four of our program managers, each of which are going to step you through disruption and what it means in each of the domains that TTO develops systems for and operates in. U.S. warfighters have dominated their local battle space through a combination of incredible training and exceptional leadership. In the ground domain, our high-value assets are our soldiers and Marines. Can we empower small units to allow them to have nonlinear impacts throughout the battlefield in a way that's not currently envisioned? To leverage trends in autonomy and artificial intelligence to allow soldiers to decide more quickly and act more rapidly than our adversaries. Within TTO, we seek to innovate those technologies that create asymmetries in mobility, lethality, and survivability for these future formations. The U.S. Naval Forces are comprised of some of the most sophisticated and capable systems ever designed. The key challenge with these systems is their specialization and the packaging of multiple mission capabilities on a single platform, which renders them a juicy target in truly competitive environments that we foresee in the next few decades. DARPA's focus in the maritime domain is the decentralization of the missions and taking advantage of unmanned platforms when and where we can. We envision a future fleet composed of a mix of manned, unmanned, and optionally manned platforms working collaboratively to scout, control, deny, and destroy the adversary or enable other fleet missions. So we're interested in approaches that bolster the human decision maker, not overshadow it. Domain disruption is about looking at completely new concepts that enable us to operate in the air domain in ways that surprise and confuse our adversaries. It's about rethinking the assumptions of traditional air superiority. We want to explore systems that don't require us to own the airspace in the traditional sense. We want systems that allow us to operate at a time and place of our choosing. The idea is to take away the adversary's ability to preempt our own operations. We're looking to explore warfighting concepts that don't rely on a few highly capable, but also highly vulnerable key systems. We want to break apart large monolithic systems into smaller, more flexible, and more resilient capabilities. The military and intelligence community currently operate a very few exquisite, highly capable spacecraft that provide amazing data to analysts to support, but are removed from the fight in both time and space. We urgently need to add resilience to our orbital systems, and we need to get that, the information our spacecraft generate to their end users to use that information within seconds instead of the hours or days it currently takes. DARPA TTO is embracing disruptive approaches and commercial approaches to space technology to bring low-cost, resilient, proliferated systems that can be quickly deployed and refreshed with new technology on one to two year cycles and reconstituted if under attack in hours. Hi, I'm Tom Boitner, Deputy Director of the Tactical Technology Office here at DARPA. As you just heard from Dr. Kennedy and some of our program managers, we're excited about hearing your ideas at our upcoming Proposers Day. We recognize that good ideas may come in all sizes, whether that's a new component, a new process, we're interested in ideas whether they come from academia, small businesses, or industry. Whatever your idea is, if it is a radical, game-changing idea that fundamentally gives a new capability to our fighting forces, we're interested in hearing about it. That can be a starting point for a discussion with a program manager. 
and the Virtual Proposers Day offers a unique opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one discussions with program managers throughout the TTO office. The great thing about DARPA is if that idea is strong enough, DARPA will provide the resources and the technical support to show that that can be solved and can enable a new capability. One of the things you'll find about working with DARPA is that we have a great deal of flexibility in the contracting process. If your idea is good, we'll work with you to make sure that you can move forward with it. Thanks for checking out this special notice and the videos on our website. I'm looking forward to seeing you either virtually or in person at our Proposers Day. I'd like to thank all of you for participating in this Proposers Day and for coming forward with your ideas. Uh, we recognize that this is money and time you could spend elsewhere on other projects and other concerns. But when you come forward to TTO and talk to us about your ideas and, and put your folks here, that's really special and important and, and it, it means a lot to us. Um, it, it means a lot to our uh, warfighters, it means a lot to the entire department. So thanks again on behalf of uh, all of us.